It's the Multan Sultans who are sitting pretty at the top of the HBL PSL 7 table, taking on Peshawar Zalmi, who are just fresh off their second win of the tournament. We've got Pommy alongside me for our expert analysis, a bit of a chat. Just, you know, what to expect from the game and what do you think that you're most looking forward to seeing? I think in thinking about the game, you go, do you know what? If you're Zalmi, you don't mind playing the Multan Sultans now. I mean, can they just go on winning and winning the whole time? They're due a loss somewhere along the line, you know? So you've got to take that into the game and say, you know what, you, you haven't lost, this is it. You're going to get your first one here. They're also coming off a win, which is good for the Zalmi. If you're in the Multan Sultan's camp, you feel a little bit bulletproof because everything has gone according to plan. You think about their side, their skipper, I think it's only once where he's got no runs. He got up for a duck, didn't he, somewhere along the line. But First one in 37 innings, yeah. mind you, so he's, he's hot, he's in good form. Yeah, and then we thought maybe that's going to be a bit of a slight, nope, he, he's okay. And his side has gone beautifully. I mean, um, Shan Masood at the top of the order, he is hitting it like a dream. Oh, nearly, nearly. But with five leg up, Masood happy to take the risk and going across, he'll pick up four. Two leg side, and that's a beautiful shot. Good balance, good timing from Shan Masood. Four more. Beautiful. That is some shot. A slower ball picked and banged out the ground. Six more. Thoughts about a slow pitch ball not coming on. This is a slow one, pace off. And what does Shan Masood do? Just Hits it through the line. That's a beautiful shot. And it's gone the distance and more. It's certainly now coming into terms with the pace of the pitch and it's looking easy. And playing in classical fashion too. He's not one of those who slogs it out the park. He just plays normal classical cricket shots and has somewhat reinvented himself to work out which angles and so forth if he's going to use the power play. Riley Rousseau in decent touch. Shot. Oh, that is a beautiful shot. Oh, open the face, yes. Excellent. That's pretty good connection. That's gone for six. Squeeze that away, and that's gone for four as well. There's ten off two. It's got that away as well. And that's also four more runs. That's a beautiful shot. Variation on the one before. Again, trying that very full Yorker length and slightly wide delivery. But again, it's the bottom hand, does the trick. Not only that, last ball this over. Oh, he's hit that pretty well. He's hit that extremely well, in fact. That has gone a lot. Giving himself some room, using the angles and slamming that. Last over, Hassan Ali's first delivery. Where's that gone? Oh, that's just gone for another six runs. Just another six runs, and he's quite happy with that, I think. There's 50 for Riley Rousseau. Rousseau on strike, and he's hammered that. He's got underneath it, and I think he's got it far enough again. He has. It's a very good catch indeed, but it's not going to count because it's about 10 yards over the boundary line. Tim David. My goodness. Someone who does hit it pretty, pretty, pretty hard. <laughs> it's about this big, and he hits it miles, so yeah. Shot. Easy as you like. Gone for the big hit, and boy, has he hit that. Hit. Oh, bang. And I'll tell you a strike rate after this ball what they both carry in the last five overs. This might go for four. This will be handy. That's why they want him in there. No such trouble for this man, no. Oh, that's a low full toss sliding leg side. He just hammered that one for six. What a way to round off the over. That is a beauty. 21 from. He's clubbed it. He's clubbed it. My goodness. Full toss. That's bread and butter. Simply bread and butter. Hard down the ground and high and long and six more. He has completely laced that one for six. Tim 
David in the middle is on fire. You don't see many better than those. He's gone through the line of the ball. Dilanga with a change up, but it's in the slot and Tim David. Eyes of them a long mile this afternoon, this evening, this night. It's got us confused up here. Oh, that's a full toss. That was pretty high too, by the way. We'll have to see what the umpires think about that. In the meantime, it has gone for four. On the leg side, on the boundary. He's a tall man. That's all right. That's just about right. The pitch. <laughs> it's pressure. It's pressure. <laughs> You've probably heard the call of two, but add two to that. Four. It's really a team to watch. But as we know, in tournament cricket, you just never know what's going to happen on the day. What we can promise is that it's power packed. We can promise that these pitches have generally played all right. And I don't know about you. Nothing tonight, was there? The weather's changed. There's a bit of a breeze around. Yeah, bone dry. So what that says is it doesn't matter whichever way, bat first, bowl first, it doesn't really matter. As we've continued to talk about since the trend reversed, if you bat first, generally you should win games. So teams might be shifting to go in that direction. I'd be shifting, I know that. I'd be saying, guys, batters, you win us the game. Uh, scoreboard pressure definitely proving to be the goods so far in the HBL PSL for the last ga five games anyway, you'd say. But if we're going to have a little look at the bowling as well, if we have a look at Multan Sultans, the likes of David Willey, I mean, he was fantastic the other night, wasn't he? Leading from the front as the international. Yeah, what impressed me most about David Willey was his calmness under pressure. And what teams do in selection of overseas players is that's what they're looking for. When you hear that guys are, 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 are slotted into a side because they bowl at the death, yes, it's their skills in terms of what they can deliver, slower balls, Yorkers, slower bumpers and all of that. But essentially, to know when to bowl those, you've got to have a clear head. And that's where the calmness comes in and the experience of having played international. So, yeah, big, particularly big that, because they can clear these boundaries quite comfortably. No run. Oh, what a start. Dot. He's got something on it. He'll take just the one. He has a cover drive. Bang! And out! Got him! Whoa! What a night! Certainly going to be a big challenge for Prashawa's army. They're taking on Multan Sultans, but I hope they're up to the challenge. I do personally, anyway. How <laughs> biased. Never. I'm very professional.